hi everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm really excited about what this video is going to be about which is my current tbr of books on my kindle that are from kindle limited which if you have kindle limited that means they're free and i'm really excited i've not been reading my kindle as much lately this this past month my dad has actually been reading on my dad's older and he's not really tech savvy and he i was like yeah dad he was wanting some more books to read i was like dad there's tons of books on kindle unlimited that i'm sure you would love i was like let me download them and i'll show you how to work the kindle and yeah and he's been loving it so y'all i haven't he kind of took it from me so but i've got it here it's just the basic kindle um i got it a f several months ago when they were like on sale for like 40 or 50 bucks um i might upgrade I'm not sure, but I might. In case he really likes this and wants, you know, to kind of have this as his own, I can get an upgrade. And so yeah, let's just get into it. So I'll go ahead and just talk about what I have here. Um, so let's see. The first one is The Love Audit by Anna Conwell. And I, th I think this, I mean, this literally just came out and I had seen it all over my bookstagram and Catherine from Adventures in Paper. I had messaged her because y'all, <laughs> some of these books I've read this month have been a little emotional and just some of the things I've been through personally this month has been super emotional. So I was like, I need a little bit of like a lighter, like contemporary romance, not even contemporary, but just a lighter romance, rom-com romance. So Catherine said she, genuinely loved this book. It's free on Kindle Unlimited. And let me click on here. Um, and I guess I can tell y'all a little bit about it. And y'all, I'm not like super, I mean like I love romance, contemporary romance, obviously Christian based, clean. Um, I don't really read anything that's super secular anymore just because the content was just too much for me it was content that I was not comfortable reading so that's honestly why I started this channel and this year has really been me figuring out what books I love within the whole clean Christian romance genre and I've been really enjoying it so I haven't read too many of these like clean like romantic comedy books so I'm super excited that's why I messaged Catherine because she just she has read so many and I really trust her opinion and I feel like she's like the queen of doing all these great reviews on these little ro romantic rom-com books that are clean so The Love Audit a sweet romantic comedy in the Sweet Peach series book one it says it's just my luck that my grumpy office rival looks like he stepped right out of my dreams I had a plan. Get this project to the finish line and defeat Callum Sterling in the process. There's just one problem. He's ridiculously hot in person. A curly haired brown eyed dream, dream boat. I've been verbally sparring with Callum, resident stoic software developer over our quarterly conference calls this past year. Now with the launch of the huge project on the horizon, we're forced to see each other in person weekly. Can you say disaster? So I'm going to stop there because it's actually a little bit longer. I'll just read little blurbs of each book um, just so y'all kind of get that idea. It does sound a little, <clears throat> it does sound a little cheesy, but that's fine. Um, that's kind of what I wanted, just like kind of just a little bit of a fluffy, just rom-com experience. And it is clean. I don't think it's Christian, but it's clean. Then the next book is The Waterkeeper by Charles Martin. And I have personally not read anything by Charles Martin, but I have heard um, several people talk about Charles, Charles, Mar Charles Martin's books and writing. And I just was going through some books that were recommended on, you know, the store and Kindle Unlimited. And this sounded really good. Okay, it says a riveting story of heroism, heartache, and the power of love to heal all wounds by best, oh, by New York Times best-selling author Charles Martin. Murphy Shepard is a man with many secrets. 
he lives alone on an island, tending to the grounds of a church with no parishioners, and he's dedicated his life to rescuing those in peril. But as he mourns the loss of his mentor and friend Murph, himself, uh, what? But as he mourns the loss of his mentor and friend, Murph himself may be more lost than he realizes. When he pulls a beautiful woman named Summer out of Florida's intercoastal waterway, Murph's mission to lay his mentor to rest at the end of the world takes <clears throat> a dangerous turn. Drawn to Summer and desperate to finding her missing daughter, Murph is pulled deeper and deeper into the dark and dangerous world of modern day slavery. Mm. It sounds like it might be a little sad, but I truly think it sounds super good. Um, but the next one is I Can Fix That by Juliana Smith and Hannah K. Reeds recommended this to me. She said it was wonderful. Okay, it says June Hart is an affectionate and chatty first grade teacher who comes from a family of money hungry doctors. When June inherits her grandmother's 1920s farmhouse, she is compelled to remodel it, hoping to so show her egotistical family she is capable of more than being an insubstantial teacher. In the process, she finds herself spending a considerable amount of time with her hot and ill-tempered contractor, Grant Dawes. Grant Dawes is a grouchy handyman who, can't, who can seem to fix everything except his troubled past. His lack of family and friends leaves him to put all of his focus on restoring homes. That is until an eccentric and charismatic client pushes her way in to throw off his routine. Ooh, cute. I do think it's so hilarious though when these descriptions are like these hot and dreamy men. Like, I'm just like, okay. <laughs> like, obviously they're gonna be, you know, cute and all those things. It just cracks me up when they're in the description. The next one is a wreck from someone else here lately. Um, I can't remember her Instagram handle. I think she's just on Bookstagram. I will leave it below. Um, because I'm recording on my phone or I would look, but this is a Lily in Disguise by Jessica Scarlett and it's part of the Wycliffe family series and it's book one. Um, and she said that this is her favorite book series. I think she said ever. And I think the bird, the bird, the, the third book is like her absolute favorite but I wanted to start with the first one and guys it sounds wonderful this is um Christian like historical fiction I think I think I assume it's Christian I think it is okay it says to escape the scandal ties to her name Lillian Markley has gone by an alias for eight years. It was the only way for her to get a reputable job and save money to reunite with her sister in America. But when Lily is suddenly let go, just as she's about to reach her goal, she's offered a salary she can't refuse in exchange for the unthinkable. She must masquerade as an heiress at a county, at a country estate for the summer. Being exposed means facing prison or worse, never seeing her sister again. Run-ins with kidnappers, suspicious young boy, and a dangerous gentleman who knows her, sec her secret quickly has Lily spouting lies as often as she sips her tea, all while battling her growing feelings for Peter Wycliffe, the smiling host who seems to best her at every turn. Guys, I think that sounds so cute. Again, I... I'm pretty positive. Yes, A Lily in Disguise is a clean and wholesome standalone Regency romance, complete with witty banter and mistaken identity and happily ever after. But it says standalone, but there is two other books in the series. Y'all, that sounds so good, and I'm really excited to read it. I want to read that one soon, too. Then the next one is Melissa Tagg's Autumn by the Sea. I kind of want to do like a autumn book. I have an idea. I just have an idea, guys, that I'm fixing up in my brain. Um, actually, one of my sweet subscribers, Lens, she actually, like, she requested that I make this video that I have thinking up in my head. And so I'm trying to read a little bit more autumn-based books right now, autumn, fall. And it's Autumn by the Sea by Melissa Tag, And I think it sounds so cute. And I've seen a couple people on Bookstagram talk about it. So I'll probably wait and read that next month. Just because it is autumnal. And we're not quite 
on in fall you know it's the end of august but i might read it a little early so i can get it in my video but it says get swept away to the seaside in maine in this captivating romance brimming with mystery abandoned as a toddler sydney rose has spent years wondering who she really is homesick for a life she's never lived when a private investigator crashes into her world she finds herself heading to a tiny seaside town in maine to meet a woman named maggie who's searching for her granddaughter she lost decades ago again that sounds so good and i'm not reading the full descriptions on every single one just because they're a little long i hope y'all don't care and then the next book is lynn austin's legacy of mercy y'all i'm about to finish waves of mercy by lynn austin which is the first book this is the second one legacy of mercy i cannot wait i think lynn austin is going to be one of my favorite brand like brand new authors to me so excited um i'm not going to read about legacy of mercy because i don't want anything to be spoiled um my mom is reading she read she's reading the second one right now and she was like yeah don't read the back of the second one so i'm not going to read the back and then the next one is the spice king by elizabeth camden i have seen this everywhere i'm so stoked to read it again i want to read it really soon but i'm not sure when i'll do that and i don't want to read the back of it i just don't i don't want anything to be spoiled but i do think it's about this guy that is a king and it's about how he's like i'm pretty sure how he's created like this spice like this spice kingdom like he sells and trades spices and all these things i could be wrong y'all don't take me to it because i don't want to spoil anything with the back the Spice King by Elizabeth Camden. Can't wait to read it. Then the next one is um, Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. Now, I'm not sure if that one is clean. I may or may not read it. Um, I don't know anything about it. And again, I kind of want to go in blind with this one. Not blind, but um, Haley Pham talked about it. And I think she tries to read decently you know like closed door situation like she doesn't try to read a lot of explicit things um but of course if i get into it and it's just i don't agree with it or i just feel personally like i can't further go further in the book i'll let y'all know if i end up reading it the next one is tammy l gray's until i knew myself book one in the brentwood series um i am so excited to read this as y'all know i love the state of gray series by tammy l gray i do plan on finishing the third one. I know I DMF'd it at the beginning of this month, but I'm going to try to finish it. But I want to read more by Tammy L. Gray. I truly love, I love the way she writes and she's just enough, she's a fantastic storyteller. So this one says it's about Journey Hawthorne has always been the peacemaker within her childhood friend group, willing to do whatever she must to heal hurts and protect those she loves, even if it meant losing herself to do so. She had never dreamed a choice made at 16 could haunt her 10 years later, especially when that decision was made to protect the man she's loved since childhood. But when a phone call exposes her greatest secret, Journey soon learns that not all mistakes can be forgiven. Again, it sounds great. And then next, um, Lindsay from Books for Christian Girls. I might not be saying her whole username properly, but before I was even like into the whole Christian fiction like Christian reading situation and finding all these amazing booktube in the Christian community booktubers in the Christian community I was looking up books that were like summary reads that were clean and one of Lindsay's videos came up I found this book like I think over a year ago and it's Porch Swing Girl it's by Taylor Bennett and it's a part of the trade one series I read the first one and I started the second one but I hadn't finished it um it is summary reads in my opinion i think there's four books in total again all the books i'm pretty sure i have most of them here are free on kindle unlimited and um i'm very excited it's about a girl named olive and her grandma lives in hawaii and she just goes through a like a loss in her family 
and um, her and her little sister end up going to live with her grandma for a little bit in Hawaii and it's just about her just going through this big life change and just trying to make friends and I'm not I can't remember if she's a believer or not or if she is she's struggling with that at the time and then she like she meets this cute boy and he's like a part of the I'm pretty sure he's a part of the band and all this stuff at the youth group and everything so it she said it's comparable to the Christy Miller series and the Christy Miller series is one of my favorite book series of all times um so I eventually want to read that I might wait till next summer and to finish them I just didn't get to it this summer so yeah I recommend it I mean the writing isn't fantastic but it is it is a good read so I'm not saying it's like the best ever but it is enjoyable so but it might not be for everybody the writing and then the next one is the off limits rule by Sarah Adams and again she is not Christian fiction but she is clean and I've never read anything by Sarah Adams and so I'm excited to read that one and I think that might be it oh no and then wild Fla wild flowers from winter by Katie Gansher I'm waiting to read this this winter um, I love Katie Gansher I love her I love her the art of losing yourself um, a broken kind of beautiful top favorite books of all time and I'm really excited to read Wildflowers for Winter. Again, I don't really want to read the back of this one. Because I kind of want to go in blind. So, yeah guys, I think that's it. Let me scroll down here. My Kindle's being a little slow. And let's make sure. But yeah, I absolutely am so excited to read a lot of these. And some of them, they are. They're more like lighthearted, romantic, clean, or Christian rom com -y books. But that's just kind of what I, I, I wanted right now. And... I'm just excited to read them. Let me know what's on your all's TBR if you have Kindle Unlimited. And let me know if you've read any of these books that I mentioned that I want to read. And let me know what you thought. If they're worth re reading, if they're not. If they're actually clean or if not so much. I'd I really want to know. Especially like Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. I'm not 100% sure if that's clean or not. But y'all, I hope this video was enjoyable. I hope you've heard a book that you might want to read. Maybe we could read it together. I love Ken my Kindle. I love reading on my Kindle. I love Kindle Unlimited. I totally think it's worth the money each month to have it. Um, especially when I'm reading on it more often. My dad's getting my money's worth. But especially when I'm reading it more often, it's definitely worth the $10 a month. Um, it's not sponsored or anything. I just love Kindle Unlimited. So drop your Kindle Unlimited faves down below or ones that you want to read soon and let me know what you what you think all right guys i'll see you in my next video bye